NANI? Hello everyone, I am Ferex. This video is a review about the film The Last Emperor. The Last Emperor is a 1987 biographical film by Bernardo Bertolucci. It focuses on the dramatic life of the main character, which is Hui. The movie showed the passage of China's government from feudalism to revolution to its current state of relatively peaceful transition. The saddest part was that he was an emperor of nothing. Hold up! He turned out of being the victim and was trapped by two societies. The movie revealed his powerlessness. For the summary, Hui is the protagonist of the story. He, he came in Forbidden City when he was three years old. Three years old. Nani? And became the emperor of 10,000 years, the new son of heaven. The, the great empress Dowager was the one who transferred to him the crown. Armor was his weapons and acted his, as his mother when he was a child. He lost armor when he was at the age of seven. He met his new tutor, Mr. Richard Fleming Johnson, when he was a teenage boy. Uche, who is brother, wanted him to realize that he was the emperor. And there was a president outside the city. But he keeps on denying it. And keeps on proving that he was still the emperor. Until such time, when he was already an adult, President of the Republic of China wants him to leave the city immediately. This made him very angry that pushed him to team up with the Japanese. The Japanese made the promise of making him an emperor in Manchukuo. After he became an emperor, his allies offered him to step down from his position of being an emperor, but he refused many times. When Manchukuo was down, the emperor and his allies tried to escape. But it was too late for them, that's why they were captured by the Chinese government. The emperor was captured by the Chinese government because of being a traitor to his own country. Inside the jail, the government wanted him to confess that he did the accusations that he had. At first, he does not admit it. He only tells the story of what he experienced without knowing that he was fooled. But then, he realized that the Japanese just use him as a puppet that follows whatever his master told, tells him to do. Before the end of the movie, he confessed that he did the accusations he had. That's why he received his freedom and turns out of being a guardian. At the end of the movie, we go back to the Forbidden City and sat on his throne. A boy noticed him and sit sitting on sitting on it and asked him what he was doing. He tells the boy that he was the emperor of Sun of he is the emperor of ten thousand years rather and he gave the boy his cricket. The attention of the camera is focused on the boy and the cricket. That we that's why no one knows where he goes. For for me that's the best part of the movie which interprets Pui's death or he was already gone. For the comments, for the film content, I will rate it 9 over 10 because everything was almost perfect, including the part, excluding the part when the when the governor of the jail was captured because it was not really clear the reason why he will go into the jail. And that makes that make me confused. <laughs> so for the cinematic effects. Transition was really smooth. The soundtrack was very clear. Camera and lighting, too good. Editing, no problem. That's why 10 over 10 for that. For the overall comments, the film was really a great job. So thumbs up for that. <laughs> Guys, hope you also enjoyed the movie The Last Emperor and Thank you for watching. Wish 107.5. Yep, yep. Wish. Yeah. Swept it on the beat. Hey, yeah, yeah.
Miss na kita, baby, hindi ko na kaya Sobrang saya ko na, muli tayong magsasama Pangako na hindi ka na maghihintay